So in my last informative video, I spoke for like half an hour straight. So I'm not gonna make this one this long. I'm gonna try to keep, keep this between the five and 10 minute mark. So the question is, do you need to do a foundation, uh, a foundation in art and design before you go on to do a fine art course or something related to the arts? First question you need to ask yourself, are you a mature student or are you not a mature student? So if you're coming out of a course which is far more constrained than a degree relating to the arts uh, in relation to the mark scheme, such as following set ways of working that you can kind of just tick boxes. And once you tick those boxes, you get the marks, then I would say if you're coming out of college, definitely do a foundation. So I'm British, I came out of A-levels and I ended up doing a foundation before I did a BA in painting uh, at University of the Arts, Wimbledon. And I would argue that in terms of the volume of knowledge or I guess the amount I learned in that foundation year was as much as I learned in the three years at university. And that's not discrediting University of the Arts Wimbledon, but it just shows how far you can go from a college mindset where you've got this A-level rigid structure, structure versus experimenting with lots of different I guess techniques and depending on where you go for your foundation this is also very important um, going on to a more independent level of working that prepares you for university because i would argue that i wouldn't have nearly got as much out of my degree as i should have uh, unless i did that foundation first so in terms of foundations my understanding is i mean i'm talking from mainly a kind of uk context here so i can't argue it would be the same elsewhere but I'm talking from a perspective of London, what I understand what goes on in the UK. So you have private foundations where they have their own campuses and you pay, I guess, two to three thousand pounds, usually around that kind of money, maybe slightly less, maybe slightly more, depending on where you go, um, for one year. And obviously they set their own criteria, curriculum, sometimes they are accredited to give you some kind of qualification, sometimes they are not. So these are things you need to kind of research and check out when you are looking for foundations. Some foundations are attached to schools, um, such as a sixth form or a larger institution. Uh, you have the foundation such as University of Arts London, they run their own foundation course um, where they have pathways that you can choose, my understanding is quite early on. So. Then you have other foundations where you, they kind of cover everything over, um, over the year. So for my foundation, it was kind of a very traditional drawing based foundation. So we begin with drawing and observation and then move on to the main, uh, I guess, uh, fine art practices such as printmaking, sculpture, painting, and then drawing being the, the core of it all. I would argue that the foundation course I went to, the Royal Drawing School, is an extremely special foundation course. Not only do we have that, that core kind of traditional foundation, which is very rare nowadays to find in any kind of, I guess, uh, arts education, but um, it's a full-time course. So like you're talking 9.45 until five o'clock every single day of the week, which is also rare, I find, for a foundation course because they tend to, I know that I think University of the Arts London is a three-day course and then obviously you have your independent study but we also had independent study as part of that full-time course which was increased in time towards the end of the year. So benefits of doing a foundation is number one, just the, the number one benefit is you're setting yourself up for independent work when it comes to university. When you, when you, when you get plopped in the studio at university they're just going to leave you alone. Like They're just like here's your space, we expect you to know how to work, we expect you to know how to produce work and I guess that that's it at the end of the day. Like you can go to tutors and ask questions and you have an environment which is, you can learn from if you choose to learn from it, but if you choose to sleep in bed all day, then that's your choice and you can also do that. Um, so I would argue that what a foundation taught me is how to set myself up on that independent kind of, um, I guess, way of working because a lot of people seem to sit in the studio and wait for a magic idea to come down from the sky or just not turn up to the studio at all and try and cram all their work within the last two weeks before um, assessment comes which 
I would argue if you want to be successful in the artistic industry or the creative arts, then this is just not a, a way that's going to function or work for you in the working industry, I guess. So with that, I guess I'm just going to conclude to say that if you're a student coming out of college, yes, go for it. If you're a mature student and you understand how to work independently already, maybe you are a practicing artist already and you're going back into higher degree education to get a degree, then a foundation might not be needed. But I, I, I found that depending on where you go, you can have a fantastic year and learn a lot. Um, even if you have already specialized in one area, because I know students who have, for example, thought themselves, uh, they thought um, they were painters and then they try out sculpture and they find that they have, um, I guess, a natural skill for, I don't know, uh, some kind of contemporary sculpture or uh, playing around with different materials. So just, you understand what I'm trying to say. So mature student, maybe. Coming out of college, definitely do a foundation. And my number one recommendation is a uh, Royal Drawing School. That's my uh, number one promotion right here, just because that's the foundation that I did. And understanding how others have done their foundation, I haven't found from people's feedback and what I've seen and other foundations that I've kind of visited and heard of, nothing is structured. And as um, from my experience, I don't think would be as good as the Royal Drawing School. So look up the Royal Drawing School if you are applying to foundation and pop down, uh, pop down, that do not make any sense. Put any questions in the uh, comments below and I can try and help out. Uh, I still suck at these outros, I guess. You can take a look at what my students are doing. Oh, these are uh, speed paintings I was uh, doing for my adult introduction to acrylic. Uh, once you've done the painting about six or seven times, it gets very boring to do. Um, what else do we have? We have a Van Gogh drawing of sunflowers. Very good drawing for her first time. We have a couple of lilies. I don't know if this is a bit dark, the light's not on, but looking quite spicy. That was my example. I was just trying to show her how to do certain bits. And then a stash of paintings in the corner. Okay, that's, that's my outro done. I guess that makes it less awkward, so...